Today we're in Calvia Village, it's a property called Kanakuku. Uh, the builders have ruined the roof on it, they've put 30 ton of rubble, of concrete on the roof and they've bodged it, we've got to take it all off. Scaffolding's already there, hard hats are ready, harnesses are ready, the boys are ready, let's go. It was quite a nice job because it was all lovely and scaffolded, you know, um, everything safe, safety first, obviously. Um, but it's nice, you know, to have a proper professional scaffold job being done, which was done by by our scaffold team as well. But to have all that just makes the job go so right, much quicker. Again. And then we put the tires on top. The only reason is because I want a load of empties first. Loves that over tight harness. Obviously, we do the scaffold side of things. I decided to acquire myself a better harness for myself, and so he got my hand me downs. But I knew what it looked like. I knew what it. I knew what it looks like. So I just instigated everyone having a, having a mug off at Aaron's expense. But we have, we have to wear a harness on the job because we're taking the roof off. So what choice has he got? It looked ridiculous. It looked like he was wearing a woman's thong. It's like wearing. Budgie smugglers, I think. It was it kind of just come up in that, that area and uh, it was it looked like it was hanging in the middle a bit. A bit. <laughs> Suits him. Yeah, I had time to do it, it was tight, but <laughs> kept him safe. <laughs> you just work on this ceiling here, work your way down, have another race. Literally clean, 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 sweep, clean, and sweep. I'm going to get a scaffold tower set up in here to finish them top bits off. I started when I was about 17. I didn't really do good in school, so I was basically just doing stuff on the streets and that. And then my mum was on a night out and she met Darren and started uh, going through what Darren does for a living. And my mum just all of a sudden just asked Darren if he could get me in. I don't care what you pay him, just get him out of trouble. Get him out the streets, even if you give him a fiver a day, a week, just get him off the streets. I was like, yeah, 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 sound, yeah, get him in. So I started when I was uh, 16, 17. I'm nearly 25 now, I'm 24 at the time. <clears throat> and I think I've done great. I'm obviously DPG manager, English, Spanish, and, <clears throat> and I love it. It's brilliant. We call Aaron Ron. I call him a lot of other things, but I better not say that. Aaron's accent is absolutely unbelievable. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know. No one else in the world has has the same accent as him. And he's very difficult to understand sometimes. Aaron's like Nathan's number two. And because Aaron was born here, uh, he does a lot of the phone calls with the Spanish companies for us. He doesn't shy away from work. Hung over, had a drink the night before tired from having his kids whatever he works if if he ever says he's ill he is ill <laughs> you know he works hard Aaron just gets on with it organizes all the men as well strong just just because I've trained him for now all that he takes his job very seriously isn't ah, he? very serious and, and he's passionate about his work very serious because Darren's always been like a dad to me I thought he would be the best one to be the godfather of my children as well as Mary is the godmother of my children because they've always treated me 10 out of 10 since the day they've met me, all the time. He's got twins, so he's a proper family man. He looks like he's a really good dad, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. I his kids. Um, I thought, you know, being young and having twins straight away, 
Um, I thought it might have been difficult, but it seems like he's coping well. Aaron's taken to fatherhood like a duck to water, truly. I love it. I love my kids. I love my wife. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't think of another situation that I could be in at the minute that would make me happier. I'm serious anyway, mate. Serious anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, keep it going quick, though. Who? Uh, that day we were uh, cap day. I was working on the top of the scaffolding and I was taking down a chimney uh, with a Kango and uh, obviously my phone was in my pocket with the noise. I didn't even realise that the phone had dropped out of my pocket. Aaron's come back to slats. Stop it a minute. That's going through all the rubble. <laughs> Pause the bucket out. <laughs> Potter's phone smashed to bits. <laughs> he, he lost his phone and then it was found in the bottom of a bucket of rubble. <laughs> I just don't know how he how he can do that. Leave these two Sam. Leave these two in. Yeah. And from here that way you right. can take them boards up. Okay. that for me. Yeah, I've been with them on and off for six years and I started because one of the lads over here had a conversation and he knew I was looking for work so Potter who was already working here got me the job. What I like about JJ is he just gets on with it. His little saying like listen I'll, do, I'll, I'll just do as I'm told. In all fairness He's very strong with the sledgehammer and stuff. He's very good at smashing shit. <laughs> he's a lifter. He's a lifter. It's just very, very straightforward, isn't it? It just loves... I just knock walls down. I'll just do what I'm told. I'm not paid to think. I'm paid to knock walls down. And carry buckets. <laughs> <laughs> In 10 years' time, I want to own my own farm. I want to be able to grow my own fruit and veg and have animals like sheep and that. I don't know, I've just always liked the thought of waking up early and looking after the animals and growing my own fruit and veg. Jay's a big time Everton fan. Uh, well, he's, uh, Jay's a big time football fan altogether. I love football. I watch football every day if I can. Everton is the best football team in the world. I'd rather die than be a Liverpool supporter. Always a fan of the underdog. Yeah. You'd never see him round red, never. We'll even put a red hard hat on. <laughs> Never. I think if you, I think if he cut himself at work, he would bleed blue. Try and get a crowbar up there. Just be really careful. You know, on one of the jobs there was a chandelier I really liked um, and I think they, uh, a bit like the Del Boy moment, I think they smashed the wrong one down. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, and I've got the wrong one. <laughs> and now for the calendar shoot with Aaron and JJ. Oh, baby boy. It's not a nice way to talk about JJ. I meant Aaron, he's been with us since he's been 16. Oh yeah, I suppose, to be fair, they're both baby-faced. Thank you.